hello guys welcome back to another video in this one we are going to discuss about the batch class and i'll also give you an example how to execute and how to create a batch class so keep watching till the end i'll just walk you through the introduction of what is a batch class so let's get started and batch what is batch class it's nothing but an asynchronous execution of the apex code normally whatever class you write it runs in the synchronous mode and it will have a governor limits and you cannot do a lot of uh, so called and dml with that but in this apex class batch apex class you have greater flexibility in terms of the governor limits because it every run of that batch class the governor limits get reset so the main advantage of this is you know the first one so the every transaction starts with a new governor limits like i said um, and it makes easier to ensure that your code stays within the governor limit execution so you can in every execution you can run as many so calls or dmls within that limit we'll discuss that in the later part so and the next one is if one batch fails to process suppose say you have five batches of 200 records and if one of them fails it will not roll back all the other batches but it you know only that batch fails and rest of them get processed like 800 records out of the four you know four batches out of five batches gets processed so that's one of the other advantage so the main syntax of this batch class is you have to implement database dot batchable interface to make your apex class as the batch class and also it will have three methods by default start execute and finish which you know makes this batch class complete we'll discuss with an example how these three method works in the later part so keep watching we'll go to the next slide so syntax of the batch class is this is how you write a batch class you know global class you have to make it global uh, and then all the batch class has to be global this is the batch class name and implements database that batchable as object and this is the first method start method which returns database dot query locator so it you will have to pass this batch batchable context so that you know you can run a query and return the database dot query locator and which inbuilt you know uh, you, you you will pass database dot batchable context and list of records which is nothing but this query locator you have which has been written from the start will be taken into consideration in the execute method and processes the each batch of the record and then in the finish you can execute like you can send an email or call another batch class and there are a lot of other things which you can do uh, which we'll discuss later um, and this execute execute uh, method uh, within this batch class runs you know multiple times depending on the how many batches you have so if you have thousand records and you know it, and by default it's 200 per batch so this execute batch will execute for five times and then comes to the finish method so that's when all the finishing activities like sending email or you know now calling another batch class depending on what you want to do you can do that and how to invoke that batch class so you have to invoke this batch class in some other apex classes in apex transaction you want to make this update and make this entire bunch of update as asynchronous then you call the batch class in the call the batch class like this so my batch class new instantiate the new batch class and then id batch id i think this has to go to the next line but you know it has mixed up so yeah database dot execute batch this is the instance which you have instantiated and then you are executing it so now let's go 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 to the salesforce org and see how we can run in real time i'll take an example of the account and update you know the type of the account for around 1000 records uh, and see how it works so let's go to the org now that we have understood what is batch class <clears throat> here is a simple example let me edit and show you it shows in better format yes so yeah here is the batch class example this is very simple uh, just to start with you know so here is the first method sorry start and then execute and then finish it 
okay so in the start what i'm doing is i'm just selecting the account record where the type is null and then passing this query locator once the start completes it comes here like in the database matchable context with list of account scope like whatever has been queried here and then i'm updating the type as prospect and this is the update so this execute goes on for every 200 records by default and it updates all the records and in finish i'm just printing some messages you can do some email or even call some batch class you cannot do everything but there are some things which you can do in the finish class finish method so uh, let me show the data so here is the data i have prepared so i have around thousand records where account type is equal to null so in the this method you have seen i'm going to update this as the prospect so let's see uh, by updating this i'm going to instantiate new uh, instance of this account batch class and then batch update batch class and then executing it so let's go ahead and execute it okay this is complete let's see yes it is success okay so the debug message account batch completed successfully and yes everything looks good now let's go ahead and query and see how do we find any records so there are no records it means the type has been updated with prospect so i'm just going to query without anything so you can see like all these records or let me do this where type is equal to prospect oh sorry i missed where okay so these are the 1002 records which were null before and it has been updated in the batch class so i've just taken even this number is also very small just for the you know example purpose but you can if you have records more than 10000 records which you cannot do it in a single apex transactions then you can use this kind of batch class you know where it can update up to 50 million records in you know dividing it into each batch and then updates it so this is just an example simple example going forward i'll be demonstrating the complex batch class so do subscribe and follow this uh, channel i'll be adding more videos on all sorts of example in the salesforce other than that you know uh, you know just some theory if you want to understand something documentation was everything is available online so that's why i want to focus more on the examples of the salesforce you know uh, features or any coding examples so please do follow let's learn together see you bye bye